Doug, are you there? I'm here. Hi, Julio. I recognize the voice. Hi, Doug. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Good. Uh, this is a, a rather unusual work, not another deaf story. It's a darkly comedic ghost story. Eight deaf people are summoned to an isolated cabin in the woods, and before the night ends, they will experience a haunting reveal that will reveal the most intimate stories and face their deepest fears. This is a scenario we've heard before. So what's different about this one? <laughs> Julio, this is an amazing theatrical experience. Um, it was conceived by our member, Hilary Scarl, and she received a grant from Creative Capital. And um, she has eight deaf actors who have met uh, at our theater for two weeks every day, and they have created this brand new play in American Sign Language. So this was written on the spot in sign language, and then someone translated it into English, wow. and it will be voiced by speaking actors. But this is very unusual in the deaf community because normally everything is written in English and then translated into ASL. So um, this is really exciting. It's innovative, and uh, the actors are amazing, and there's going to be uh, really an interesting blend of sign language, spoken language, music, lights, and theatrical excitement. Now, you're going to have voicing actors who will join this ensemble, and they're joining yes. it just two weeks before opening. So your voice actors have just joined the company now. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's it's come together very quickly, and um, there's eight actors that are matched with eight deaf actors. So the voicing actors will um, you'll just hear a voice for each actor. And you're one of the hearing actors who will be working with them, yes. right? Um, yes, uh, I am, and so is Bert Emmett. Bert Emmett is our executive director, and uh, he and I are um, jumping into the challenge and really looking forward to it. Wow. So uh, you open on August 10th, right? And um, there are five shows. And uh, it's uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 8 p.m., and then Saturday and Sunday at 2 p.m. And the Saturday at 2 p.m. is nearly sold out. So if anybody is anxious to see this, they should try and get tickets right away. Now, this is downstairs in the main theater, is it not? That is correct, yes. We're in the main stage. It's all one level. There's no steps, so it's completely accessible. So, uh, you have been matched with an actor. Your your cast is learning their lines. Uh, now, this is co-directed by Hilary Scarl and Monique Momo Holt. Is she the deaf act a deaf actress in the play? Uh, Monique is uh, di the director, and she is deaf. Mm -hmm. And Hilary is the one who conceived the project. Oh, I get you. Hillary Hillary is, uh, they're co-directing it together, and Hillary is an ASL interpreter, so she understands and can speak ASL perfectly. So um, it's a, a, a wonderful collaborative experience, and we there's all kinds of uh, other interpreters there just to help with the whole alchemy, the magic of all this production coming together. Now, you have a short film that's going to be featured, which is also uh, completing a se using a completely separate cast of deaf actors. Yes. Yeah, that, this is written into the script. And so at one point, it, uh, we have all kinds of projections and um, original music that's being written this. So the, so the, the hearing audience is going to have an experience, too, because they'll be able to watch the sign language, hear the spoken voices, and hear the music. Now, as I said... It's a film that's part of the story. 
Wow. Uh, and this is being filmed by deaf filmmakers Chase Chambers and Brandon Simino. Yes. This is amazing. This seems like a very industrious work you're up to. It is. It's very industrious and very exciting. And um, we're thrilled that we can co-present this with wordplay and um, reach out to a new audience and and uh, share this amazing collaborative theatricality. And as we said, it's running August 10th, the 13th, Thursday, Friday, Saturday at 8 p.m., Saturday and Sundays at 2 p.m. And Group Repertory Theater is located at the Lonnie Chapman Theater, 10900 Burbank Boulevard, North Hollywood, California, 91601. You can always buy tickets online at thegrouprep.com or you can call 818-763-5990. So, Doug, uh, are, are you uh, ready to announce your fall season yet? Almost. Um, our next show after uh, Not Another Death Story is the Classic Farce Room Service. So that opens. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's going to be immersive. So when you walk into the theater, you are in the hotel. And um, it's going to be really, really fun. And um, once what, when we open that, we will start announcing the season and uh, start selling our season subscription. Well, I look forward to that. <laughs> yes. So, um, how has the uh, hot summer months treated you? Uh, have, have things you've been still producing at Group Rep? Yes, yes, yes. We did. Um, you know, we did the Laramie Project, and then we did Mornings at Seven. Our theater is completely air conditioned, and it's very cool, very comfortable for the summer months. And I don't know if you've been by lately, but the city of Los Angeles granted us with a wraparound mural. So we now have this art piece that completely covers the front and east side of our building, all two stories of it. When you drive by, it looks like an art installation. It's so thrilling. I'm going to have to drive by. (laughs) Yes. We're going to have a dedication for that mural on uh, August 10th with Paul Krikorian. So it's a very exciting time. And you know, it's our 50th anniversary. Oh, that's right. This little theater has survived for 50 years. And I remember driving by and seeing Lonnie Chapman on the seal on the uh, on the roof, nailing in tiles. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was very, very engaged and believed firmly in the theater. His passion knew no, no bounds. Well, I'm glad you're still with the theater. I know you became a grandpa, did you not? Yes, I did. Yes, my my grandson Maxwell Powers <laughs> is uh, sixteen months old, and he is a force to be reckoned with. He sounds like a Power Ranger, but uh, he's just all smiles and pure delight. That's amazing. Uh, are they living in Florida? Yes, they're living in Florida near um, Palm Beach. So you must be by coastal right now. Yes. I'm officially by coastal <laughs> back and forth. Well, I look forward to seeing you on stage sometime during the next season. Yes, well, we look forward to having you at all our plays, Leo. So, you know, you're always welcome. And well, I'm just so thrilled about this new play, Not Another Death Story. Uh, it's just the air in the theater is electrified. There's so much creativity going on it's just thrilling you know you've been there oh yes i've been there really unusual adventure for us and we're just embracing it wholeheartedly and this play is in that film you have a film guest appearance by queen forever sheena lear sheena lyles who's a a great comic yeah is is she in that film that they just completed 
Yeah, I'm not sure if she's in that film or if she has a separate uh, piece that comes in. I haven't seen all the filming parts yet. Uh huh. Still, they're still assembling all that. Um, it's it's a, a lot to do, and it's very exciting, and it's all coming together. Now, I'm, I'm just thrilled beyond belief. And if you, uh, I'm sure that audiences are just going to love this. They're just going <laughs> to eat it up. Go online to www.thegrouprep.com for ticketing or more information, or you can call their helpline, 818-763-5990. And this is not another death story. You can also find out more about the production by going to www.notanotherdeathstory.com. And I want to remind everyone that you are listening to Arts and Review, but I want to thank you all for joining us. And I want to thank you, Doug, for coming back and being a guest here on KPFK. Thanks for having me, Julio, and thanks for your support of the theater. We just are so grateful to you. Well, I thank you. 